Hi again, in this lesson we're going to talk about that what is a closure and how do JavaScript closures work. Okay. First, what is a closure? A closure is an inner function that has access to the outer functions variables scope chain. The closure has three scope chains. It has access to its own scope, it has access to the outer functions variables and it has access to the global variables. The inner function has access not only to the outer functions variables but also to the outer functions parameters. Okay, let's write a simple example which works with closures in JavaScript. First I'll make a file, I'll save it as index.html, I'll put some HTML tags inside it and inside script tag will put our JavaScript code. Ok, let's write a function to better see how closure, closures work. I'll make a function, let's call it function capital city and let's put inside our function as an argument state and let's put another argument city. So we want to provide to our function informations about the, the state and the city and we want to alert message with the capital city of that state. First uh, let's make a variable text and that variable will contain our string which we want to alert in our pop-up box in the browser. Let's say uh, for example the capital city of our state is and we'll provide those two variables state and city in our text and now we are going to display our text to the alert box but let's do that uh, by making an inner function uh, let's say that another variable or alert capital will contain a function which uh, will alert our text. Uh, you can notice here that our function is inner function. Our current function is in inner function and function capital city is outer function. But the, this inner function can use uh, all variables from this outer function. So we have in uh, this outer function variable text and this variable can use that variable. Okay, uh, now let's call our fun inner function without no, no arguments and inside of our outside of our outer function let's call our capital city function and let's provide uh, uh, the name of state for example let's say Maryland and let's provide the capital city okay let's save our HTML page and uh, let's see 
the result of our function first we need to enable live preview and open our function and as you can see we got an alert box in which we can see the text the capital city of Maryland is Annapolis okay so the main point here is that the inner function uh, can you use variables and not just the variables of this outer function that's all in this lesson thanks for watching happy coding